Hi everyone, welcome to Tidy TV, where I bring the classroom to you. I'm Hannah John, and today I want to encourage you in this video to finish off your semester strong. Stay tuned! In my many years of teaching, I've kind of seen this cycle every semester. In the beginning of the semester, students are very bright-eyed, enthusiastic, ready to conquer the world. <laughs> but then right before midterms, this is when we start to see a small fall-off in students in the class. After midterms, we start seeing students come later to the classroom before the start of class more dark circles and a change in wardrobe, I think, perhaps a little bit less fashionable than in the beginning of the semester. And as we go into finals, uh, yes, uh, another perhaps small fall off of students within the classroom. And so this is again a cycle that I tend to see almost always almost every semester as I've been teaching. So if we think about the semester as a marathon, ideally we would be able to pace ourselves throughout the 15 or 16 weeks of the semester, make sure that you rest properly and also that you spend enough time to study and have these sort of stable schedules that can support you. But for all of us, of course, life happens. And I think when it also comes to evaluations, sometimes I feel, and this may not be the case for all of you, but some students I feel might feel more discouraged towards the end of the semester if they don't think that they're going to do well in terms of final evaluations. And so what this means is we have uh, quite a few students who start to give up and lose steam as you go into the end of the semester. But I really wanted to take the time to encourage you to finish strong towards the end of the semester and not to give up. And here are a couple of reasons why. First and foremost, I think this is great training for you. I think you're really able to build up endurance that you can then use for future semesters or in your future life. And I think you also get a huge sense of accomplishment for finishing off the semester strong. I think sometimes the temptation is, you know, if I'm not going to get a great grade for this semester, why should I keep trying? And I think part of that temptation exists because you have a fixed beginning and end of the semester, and it's not entirely incorrect that you don't have another chance in the future to do even better than you did this semester. But if you find yourself saying this habitually, then I think it really does become ingrained in your own habits and also in your work ethic. And so this is not just an issue for grad school, but also in your own professional career as well. Now, a big side note here is I don't want this to mean that you should be not taking care of yourself. Please do be responsible. Please take care of your physical and mental health. But I hope you'll think twice about giving up entirely and convincing yourself that you can just make this up in the next semester. And a second major reason I want to encourage you to finish off strong is it sends a very powerful message, especially to the professor. From a professor's perspective, we know how challenging it is for students to start off strong and also finish off strong. It takes a lot of discipline and effort, consistency, and yes, it, it's challenging for any student, so we recognize this. That's why we have many students who start off the semester very well, but then they start losing steam towards the end of the semester. But what's been most impressive to me in my years of teaching is not just the students who do well throughout the semester, but those who might have started off a little more slow in the beginning, but then are able to finish very well and, and really impress me with their work at the end of the semester. For those who have had maybe a less than stellar start at the beginning of term, but then can perform brilliantly at the end of the semester, I think that really speaks volumes of your character, and that certainly leaves a lasting impression on me. And just as a side note, after years of teaching, I actually almost always find ways of reflecting <laughs> this improvement in performance through student evaluations at the end of the semester. The last thing that we see when it comes to not just your final exams, projects, but also papers is that final bit of work. And so there have been cases also where I've been so impressed by some of my students' final papers that I would reach out to these students. So hopefully we can collaborate in terms of future research. So these are all still opportunities for you, even if you feel that you've maybe had a less than fantastic or perfect start at the beginning. So I hope you're feeling a little bit more encouraged as you head into the end of the semester. Please do take care of your health, of course, but also this is a great opportunity for you to demonstrate and to show what you can do to your professor and also to yourself. So until next time here on Tidy TV, bye!